Uh, hey everybody. Uh, <laughs> so I was making a video for you and I realized I wasn't recording the whole entire time. Um, so I ha already have all this uh, gear kind of laid out. So I'm going to go work my way backwards. So today what I'm going to talk about is my new get home bag. Uh, it's changed a little bit based off of my um, new occupation, the distance traveling, the fact that instead of traveling through rural mountain passes, stuff like that, now I'm traveling through downtown Seattle, the city. It's kind of changed uh, my priorities, what I need, what I think I'll need. Um, to start off, the main change uh, was going to be the bag. So normally I was running a 511, kind of militarized looking bag. I decided to go with something uh, a little more inconspicuous. Uh, this is the herbal stock, big trick. Uh, it's still, you know, military green. It's still overt, but it's definitely a lot better than having a uh, pack that has a bunch of molly on it. It looks like a plate carrier from a distance, stuff like that. So this is called the herbal stock, big trick. Big trick because you undo this and a uh, rifle scabbard comes out. So you can put a folding AR in there or a pistol or something. On the outside, you do have um, these water bottle pouches. Uh, each side of the main bag, you do have these side storage areas, which is kind of nice. In the back, you have a magnetically retained um, CCW pouch. Here for the cummerbund, you got a padded cummerbund with Molly, so you can add different stuff on the side. You have your lumbar support here, and then you can readjust the shoulder strap height uh, to, to fit your to torso, uh, which is really nice. Not a lot of packs have that nowadays. In the top here, you have a couple different pockets. You do have these uh, kind of magazine style uh, pockets with the retaining straps, which is nice. And then on this, you can open the bag up part way and use it as a stuff bag or you can go ahead and splay this all the way open and be able to pack it. So talk about what's in this bag. All right, to start off, I'm going to work my way backwards, like I said. Uh, inside here, I have these Coast Guard rations. These are kind of those oat bars. Uh, they're vanilla or honey flavored or whatever. Um, I have 72 hours worth of rations there for me individually. Also inside this pouch, I have uh, my boo-boo kit. So this has band-aids, antiseptic wipes, sting, sting wipes. Um, I do have um, some different medicine in here. I have uh, iodine tablets uh, for you know, nuclear radiation. Yes, if I need to take iodine tablets and nuclear radiation is the least of my worries, but hey, I have them, might as well stick them in there. Also, I have a couple different, uh, you know, Advil, aspirin, Benadryl, Chums, Benadryl, stuff like that. So that's my boo-boo kit. Um, on this side pocket here, internal, this is where I have part of my um, shelter kit. So I have extra paracord. Each of these are 25 uh, foot links. So I have 100 foot of paracord. One of them is already made up into a wrap of ridge line with purset knots so I can string up my tarp. I put that on the side and I'm able to compartmentalize a lot of this stuff so I know where to grab. It's not just a stuff bag. Along with my shelter kit, which is on my on one side, I do have an emergency bivy and an emergency blanket, and that is my shelter kit. Now, the fact that I'm primarily now downtown Seattle kind of city, I don't feel like having a tarp makes sense to me, carrying a tarp. I'm not going to be out in the woods um, for the most part. Uh, so having those emergency bivvies and stuff like that is about all I need. For kind of more uh, rain gear, I have Rainfly for this bag. One side is camouflage. The other side is this bright orange kind of pink color for you can use for signaling or, you know, like me, if you go hunting, you can do that to put it on your pack. So one, you can find it and two, your pack or you don't get shot because you're moving. That goes down in the bottom. Also down in the bottom, I have my dedicated first aid kit. Um, this for first aid kit has a ton of stuff. Um, I have it all vacuum sealed based on what it is. 
So this one is more of a boo-boo kit. So this has more of your uh, antiseptic wipes, stuff like that. It's sealed, so it's waterproof. I also have my Stop the Bleed um, kit here. It has my compression bandages, all that kind of stuff. Extra tourniquet, sutures, uh, a few other odds and ends, Benadryl, more medication. So if I needed to, I could just grab this and go. <clears throat> That's in there. Uh, next thing kind of go over is, well, might as well finish up the medical. Uh, sucking chest wound kit, compression bandage, that's an H bandage, um, and I still have one of these uh, Israeli bandage. Um, this one in particular is the Recon Medical Compression Bandage. Um, I only have it in here because I haven't replaced it with something better, uh, but I find that if you don't put this right on right the first time, um, the actual... Uh, I guess you call it windless or the, the, the tie point where you actually cinch everything down the piece of plastic is pretty brittle and ends up breaking. So I'm in the works of uh, trying to figure out what I want to do to replace that with something similar size because H bandages are so huge. Um, in this other pocket here, I'm going to start with my fire. Oh, and uh, for shelter, I also have this micro cord, which is a hundred pound test. Um, that's good for tying those knots that you're not going to be putting any structural support on. Anyways, back to fire. So in this waterproof baggie called Ziploc, okay, I have wood shavings that are soaked in kerosene. I have some cotton uh, wicks, a lighter, one of those SOL zip uh, roller sparkers. And then I have my striker, my uh, ferro rod striker has this barrel so you can actually direct the sparks where you want it but on the other end you also have extra tinder in there that's soaked uh, which is basically the same thing kind of like vaseline and cotton balls but it also has kerosene on it uh, along with the fire i do have this waterproof carrier for storm matches you strike there anywhere matches that last pretty pretty long time um, all this, again, because I'm liking to compartmentalize, I know where my stuff is, sits in this other side pocket, so I know where it's at. So I have my shelter on one side, my fire on the other. Um, next thing, communications. In here, this Faraday bag, I have two different radios. Uh, one's the Baofeng, uh, it's the 8F, the 10 watt, or 8 watt. And then I have the waterproof version of the UV5R, uh, two valve fangs, two different antennas for them, um, and then four batteries. Stays in the Faraday bag, but they get charged um, every other week, and I rotate out the different radios. Uh, next thing that goes in here is I do have a spare tourniquet that stays on top, and then my extra clothes. Normally I do have an extra pair of socks and two thermals that sit right here, but they're in the wash because I just used them today for a hike. So I put my two sets of gloves on top along with my beanie. And then if I want my shawl, it's there. So that's it for basically the main pouch um, as is. So I'll go ahead and close that up real quick. Right on top. This is the um, Fieldcraft Survival Fanny Pack that can also transfer into a chest rig. Uh, in this is where I carry my pistol, my extra magazines and stuff like that. If I'm not carrying it on my body or if I need to leave it in the car. So that stuff's right in there. And then I'll go ahead and close that up. All right, and then in this top pouch this is where i keep the rest of the gear uh, this is the new life straw um, you can go ahead and use it as is um, do that into a river you can also take this cap off and it has a standard thread for water bottles i really like that they did this i do have some soy or filters and everything but i like to keep those with my other bags um, and at home this one i could put a water bottle in it collect the water from a stream or from dirty tap water and then screw it in and use this as is so that goes in there uh, along with that i have hand warmers those aren't really necessary uh, they're just in there um, nitrile gloves 
two spare tourniquets, spare batteries, plus my headlamp, my spare Leatherman, and my CERT book. Um, this is a community emergency response team uh, book. It has different uh, useful information on search and rescue, fire, um, tells you how to use a, a fire extinguisher, the different classes of fire extinguisher, hazards, uh, organizational uh, kind of things. A bunch of other things. It's right in the rain, and you also have room to take notes, um, especially on your frequencies, um, your, well, we call them Kazovac nine lines in the military, but um, if you're relaying information to search and rescue about a patient, um, that all fits in there. And that tops off my new um, kind of get home bag, a little more sleek and slim. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching the video, and I'll see you next time.